guys and welcome to Drive Spark. I am Promit and today we are driving the all new Land Rover Defender. Now this particular variant is the 5 door SE 110 variant. There is also a 3 door SE 90 variant that we are going to drive sometime later. And this is one of the best luxury off-roaders that you can buy off the market. I mean, literally this car can take you anywhere. You don't have a road, this car will not have a problem. Just lift it up and you are good to go. So stay tuned to the video as we tell you everything you need to know about the all new 2021 Land Rover Defender. So now guys, we are the driving seat of the Land Rover Defender. Let me quickly explain what this car is all about. So let's start off with the front end of the car. So at the front, you'll get this uh, beautiful looking blacked out headlamp unit. Now the headlamp unit, the DRLs are placed so nicely that the car looks really, really aggressive from the front. As far as the fog lamps are concerned, they are uh, tiny projectors present on the bumper. The front grille is surprisingly strange. I mean, if someone will see the car from the front, they'll be like, where is the grille? So basically the grill is there, it, it, it has some cuts and slots. It is not like the average regular grill that you see on a car. Now there is also a front parking camera. I mean obviously there is a 360 degree camera feature in this car. So uh, as I was telling you, yeah, from the front end the car looks really really awesome. It has that aggressive look. The headlights play a very vital role as far as that uh, aggressive look is concerned. And you have the badging and everything, it's all blacked out. So it looks really sporty, it looks big and it looks looks really muscular from the front end. Now coming to the side profile, uh, at the side you'll notice that this gets this massive 20 inch 5 spoke alloy wheels. Now you get a lot of different options uh, of alloy wheels, there is 21 inches also, there are a lot of shapes, patterns that you get. I think there are steel wheels present also, so there are 20 inch steel wheels where you can go hardcore off-roading and you don't need to worry about your alloy cracking or breaking or bending whatsoever. The very subtle body lines uh, that run from the headlight to the tail light, it can really go unnoticed also sometimes. The side profile now, we also have the blacked out finish. that is there on the side you do not get chrome whatsoever on this car the window trim around is also blacked out you get blacked out ORVMs on either side now the ORVMs are uh, now there are two cameras present on each ORVM so this also gets the blind spot monitoring view now what that does is so for example if uh, I, there are three lanes and you are on the extreme left and you want to come to the extreme right there is a car approaching from the left or the right so there is a point at the mirror where uh, there's an orange light that will blink uh, indicating you that yeah there is a car next to you and when you hit the indicator if the road is clear then that orange light will stop blinking and if there is someone approaching like uh, like a car or anything like a motorcycle or a cycle or whatever and you're shifting lanes what that orange light will do is it will start blinking very fast so that will catch your attention just in case if you've not seen the mirror before taking uh, do not do that please look either side before shifting lanes yeah so that feature is really really nice it comes in really handy especially during the monsoon season it uses that sonar radiation to detect any cars uh, that's on either side of the vehicle Yeah, now let's come to the rear end of the car. So to the rear you get full size pair. Uh, that actually complements the car's looks. It uh, definitely makes it look much more bulkier from the rear end. And now you get the Defender SE badging that's again blacked out. Uh, you get the Land Rover badging. So you actually get the Land Rover, that Land Rover badge all around the car, like on the side, uh, like on the uh, C pillars, on the front, on the back, on the inside. So there are a lot of badging that's available. Uh, that's a really nice touch, really nice feature. Again, no chrome at uh, the rear end also so you get the led tail lights that is kind of squared off and yeah it uh, looks pretty unique it's not like the regular tail light you see on the car now let's uh, come to the inside so uh, this has the adaptive air suspension there are three modes in that one is an accessible height so the accessible height is around 218 mm of ground clearance now that is the accessible height of the car so you press the accessible height the car will lower down so that you can get in and out of the car very easily now after you've done that when you start rolling or when you start riding after say around 40 kilometers or maybe 40 45 or maybe 50 kilometers then automatically if the car is still lowered on that accessible height it will automatically come up to the normal height now that normal height is slightly higher than the accessible height and at last you have the off-roading height now you press the button once more and the car will raise completely giving the giving the suv 291 mm of ground clearance and that is a lot of ground clearance like 200 
like literally that is why i'm saying when i'm driving on the road like people are seeing the car and i'm driving it on full race suspension i know uh, it is a, it's an off road feature but why not if it's there you just get the feel of sitting high and driving you have a better view or better visibility and uh, yeah you literally look down upon people when they pass you and if it's, if a passenger is sitting over here and if a small car passes by literally like the passenger will not be able to notice the car even pass by that was the air suspension i mean it's it's pretty awesome obviously so yeah they were saying once you enter the, you get the accessible light so once the accessible light is selected you can get in and out easily obviously there are handles present on the front at the back on the b pillar to i mean you can hold on to them and get on and get into the car and be really easy so once you step inside you see there's a ton of space over here because this car is tall it's wide it's long so i mean space wise no issues whatsoever so you have a lot of soft touch material on the dash now the dashboard is something that is very minimalistic it is not that extraordinary like too flashy nothing like that you have some grab rails on the dashboard also just in case if you're going off roading and your passenger wants to hold on to something because the car is wobbling too much so you have that also and you have soft touch materials all over the door the dashboard and all so yeah coming over here you have the infotainment system now this features android auto apple carplay and this gives you a hell lot of information about your vehicle you have your accounts climb it you have all the cameras you have valet mode you have your vehicle dimensions you have low launch traction and i mean the works so it's a single screen and yeah it features and it gives you a lot of information about the vehicle now right below that you have the climate control now this features the four zone climate control so there are two at the front two at the back you get a lot of buttons over here now so this panel over here uh, will help you increase the height decrease the height this will also help you change the modes of the car it will help you change the fan speed traction control automatic start stop hill descent and you name it like it is there are physical buttons present and it is really nice because i mean when you press the button it it just clicks so uh, meticulously like it's so it's a silent click but you can feel the click but you won't be able to hear it fit and finish quality is just amazing now it's a fully digital instrument cluster you can uh, configure it according to your need you can get a dial like right now what i have chosen is a dial and uh, there is maps uh, showing on my right hand side and there is my trip summary that's showing on my left hand side so you can configure it according to that and uh, the steering wheel is really really nice it's an electronically adjustable steering wheel it has an auto mode so what that mode does is uh, when like for example if the steering wheel is too high and the car detects that you have been driving for a very long time so it automatically lowers the steering wheel now what that does is that since the steering wheel is automatically lowered that will uh, put less stress on your shoulders talking about the seats uh, front two seats are 12 way adjustable again uh, you have uh, seat memory for the driver as well as the passenger so that's a good thing but uh, yeah one thing that i personally did not like is that the door handles and everything are placed very low I and mean, obviously they didn't want you to like reach over here so they placed it slightly low could have been slightly higher there's a lot of wood trim wood finishing inside fit and finish quality is just fabulous it's amazing so you have the gear lever that's finished in leather like it is placed where the climate control button is so it it looks really neat now right behind that you have your cup holders and you have your wireless charger so yeah, now let's talk about the rear seat so along as comfort is concerned so the rear seat is nice it is comfortable it has a lot of cushioning it can be reclined and uh, you have a center armrest and uh, there's one more feature that's really nice at the rear end is that now this car features like obviously you have windows all around and you have a big uh, panoramic sunroof and all so this panoramic sunroof is there but uh, just in case if you're going on a safari and uh, you want to say look up from the side now there are giraffe windows that's present on either side behind very nice feature so at the rear you get again this four zone climate control so you have your two zones at the rear now the third row is uh, slightly tight see headroom is no issue in the car i mean as far as headroom is concerned a tall person can sit only issue with the third row is the knee room and the leg room that is best suited for i guess children uh, sitting over there for a very long time either one has to sit with the legs up folded so like one person can sit easily and go again you have your ac controls your ac fan speed at the third row also so that's a really good you have cup holders everywhere in the car so a lot of storage space in the car
now we'll talk about the engine so this is the 110 se now this is powered by a 2 liter turbo petrol engine that pumps out to 96 php of power and 400 mm of torque this is mated to a 8 speed automatic gearbox and again power is sent to all the wheels 4x4 and uh, you have a diesel you have a 3 liter diesel you have a petrol also today we're going to talk about the 2 liter petrol so this engine really smooth it's really nice obviously it's a huge car it's, it's like a 2 and a half ton suv on the road so uh, this 2 liter i i personally feel uh, that bigger engine would have definitely uh, you see like right now i'm doing a 50 i floor it and i wait and then it starts pulling so when it pulls there's a way, i mean it does not pull very hard so that's why i think it's a big car a slightly bigger engine you have an option of of a 3 liter diesel and a petrol also as well as that i mean the option are there but uh, this particular variant you can just cruise around it is fantastic to cruise really with the air suspension as i told you the air suspension is just fabulous the steering response is nice being a suv when you put it on full height obviously it will have body roll it does have body roll but when it's at normal height a uh, body roll is very less accessible height you can't drive on the accessible height because that is accessible height like you get in and out of the car uh, with that height but uh, overall if you see uh, in the normal mode is where everything is very docile and everything is very calm the suspension setup is soft on the highest setting that the off road setting obviously sitting very high so there will be a lot of body roll i mean compared to other suv since this features airmatic suspension so the body roll is like it it does not continue uh, i mean there is slight body roll but it just comes back so yeah, guys overall excellent car excellent drive quality suspension is too good obviously you know hardcore off roader this, this is a hardcore off roader i mean it look like a big box to you from outside but yeah this is a tremendous car good car guys uh, the defender can take you anywhere you want just like anywhere So guys this was the all new Land Rover Defender and the prices for this SUV starts at 76 lakh rupees now this particular variant that you see over here is priced at 90 lakh rupees and it goes all the way up to 1.11 CR X showroom mark and I hope I explained the car well to you if you need to know anything else about the car please mention it down in the comment section and we will get back to you on that until then I'm Pramit signing out see you next time thank you so much for watching take care and be safe